starting a poultry farm business for beginners. Before we begin, an important point to establish. This not just another poultry startup guide. This guide makes no promises, but it will be able to assist you in achieving your goal of starting up a successful poultry farm. We are not claiming with this guide to help you start up a poultry farm with no money. Rather, we would like to share with you how to start up without a loan, debt, or professional help. Simply by being resourceful. Looking at what you do have or could acquire, within your current means. Why start a poultry farm business with no loan, or subsidy? Let's define the word loan. A loan is money, property or other material goods that is given to another party in exchange for future repayment of the loan value amount. Along with interest or other finance charges. Now let's take a technical look at subsidy. Subsidy is a transfer of money from the government to an entity. It leads to a fall in the price of the subsidized product. One critical note to add, is that loans in the agricultural industry are typically secured against the ownership or possession of land. That is to say, the promise of the borrower to pay back the money loaned by the lender is made sure, or guaranteed, by a clause which hands over the ownership of their land to the lender, should the borrower fail to keep to the repayment schedule agreed. This is a very real, personal, material risk. What can we learn from this? Think differently about money. If you consider money as being worth more being put to work than sat still, you're thinking like your bank. Do this and you're likely to have increasing money, not decreasing money. The only question to ask is, where would our money be best invested in order to get optimal returns? Any business could be the answer to this question. How about poultry farming businesses? Try hatcheries, chicken farms or egg farms etc. Don't I need capital to start up a poultry farm? Isn't it expensive to start? Yes and no. Sure, you need something to start. But if you begin by accepting that what you do have must be sufficient. You leave yourself with no choice in the task of being maximally witty in order to make up the difference in financial means. Again, no loan. No debt. You and your money are now gaining value for the future. Your labor is not simply buffering the bank's reserves. Start thinking like an investor rather than a consumer and seek a self-start for your poultry farm business. Learning the poultry farming business as a beginner. Poultry farming is a physical product based business. Simply put, your poultry farm will deliver the physical product of either chicken meat or egg. In exchange for money, which becomes your sales revenue. To state the obvious, yet to be explicit for the sake of completeness. Your poultry farm's overall productivity is dependent upon the critical performance of its units of productivity, being birds. In other words, without the birds, your farm will have neither meat nor eggs to sell. To emphasize, performance. Your business profits and entrepreneurial earnings are directly linked to the welfare amp, output of each individual chicken, as resulting in weight meat gain and egg laying consistency. Let's take a look at some simple outlines to illustrate this fact. Meet Joseph. He's a would-be startup egg farmer from Zambia. He wants to perform some simple, back-of-an-envelope risk analysis to try his idea of running a farm. As yet, he is undecided on mode of poultry farm that is, broiler or layer, so he decided to run a head-to-head -head comparison. Again, the idea here with Joseph's risk analysis, is to gauge the real cost of making errors in this poultry venture. Let's break it down to the individual units. The broiler chicken basics. A broiler chicken is raised for meat. Chicken reared for meat can be either male or female. There are many breeds and strains which are reared for this primary purpose. There are globally reared breeds, as well as locally prevalent ones in each country. Each breed has its own profile of characteristics and performance statistics. A broiler chicken purchased at one day old and reared for meat is scheduled to reach its full marketable weight at 42 days. The price for a 1.5 kg broiler chicken at market in Zambia is approximately 63 kwacha or 3 US dollars. This target weight of bird, 1.5 kg, might look as a given on face value, but the detail lying beneath the result goes deep. The following are the 10 most influential factors affecting broiler growth. Temperature humidity, ventilation, lighting, space, feed, disease, breed, sanitation, hatchery. We are going to delve deeper into each of the 10 points above in the coming episodes. 
layer birds are kept by nature for a period of 72 weeks of which 52 weeks are actively laying eggs. They produce eggs roughly one per day. Cage versus Steep Litter Poultry Farming The difference is simple. Cages offer control. Deep litter housing offers greater freedom to the birds, but lesser management control for you. Arguably greater control equals greater projection of profitability. But there are benefits to offering the birds greater space in rearing. The pros and cons have been neatly summarized in a study published in the World's Poultry Science Journal. Advantages of caged poultry farming include Increased hygiene resulting in a much lower incidence of diseases Small group size resulting in a low incidence of social friction Ease of management Absence of litter problems Better working conditions and A much lower cost of production Making the decision for investing in a cage-based system or otherwise clearly has more to it than simply considerations of profit. For example, if available land space is an issue, much smaller floor space per bird is required to host a cage setup, whilst still maintaining the output of eggs or meat production. The points above don't cover all variables involved in weighing up the decision, but it should set you off in the right direction.